Hello, I'm Livy Balan and today I will show you how to set up multiple virtual hosts listening on the same custom port in Apache. So let's get started. First thing that I will do is to change the current working directory using cd to atc apache2 sites available. Hit the enter key and now if I type ls minus l here and hit the enter key, you will see that here I'm having multiple uh, virtual hosts conf files uh, and from all these cons, uh, conf files I will use three of them uh, respectively uh, http.livubaland.conf, uh, http.livubaland.com on port 8000 and wp.livubaland.com uh, these conf files are already in use uh, and if you want to convince yourself I can open a web browser Mozilla Firefox in my case and as you can see here I am having http.livubaland.com http.livubaland.com on port 8000 and wp.livubaland.com uh, which has an WordPress installed on it the next thing that uh, I want to do is to define another uh, virtual host wp.livubaland.com on port 8000. Okay, in order to do this, first thing that I will do is to copy the http.livubaland.com 8000.com to wp.livubaland.com 8000.com. In order to do this, I will use sudo and then the cp command and the name of uh, the conf file that already exists, uh, http.livubaland.com-8000.conf and the name for the new file, <coughs> wp.livubaland.com-8000.conf. Hit the enter key. Enter the sudo password and now if I type ls minus l, you will see that the wp.livubaland.com dash uh, 8000.com were created. The next thing, the next thing that I will do is to edit the content of this file using sudo vi wp.livubaland.com dash uh, 8000.com. Hit the enter key. And as you can see here, um, all I have to do is to change um, the uh, HTTP dot with WP dot because instead of HTTP.livubaland.com on port 8000, I will use WP.livubaland.com on port 8000. So I will rename HTTP with WP. WP here. WP. WP. And now let's search for HTTP to see that everything is okay and the replacement were done right and quit and now as you saw earlier the next next thing that I will do is to create the um, wp.livubaland.com-8000 in order to do this I will switch to another user Leave you that balloon. and here I will use the make dir and then I will create the directory. If I go to var www and use ls minus l, you'll see that I've created the http.livubaland.com. Uh, sorry, wp.livubaland.com-8000. 
Okay, the next thing that I will do is to create an index.php inside of it and uh, let's put uh, the message hello from wp.livubalan.com on port 8000. I will use the echo command for this. Hit the enter key and if I type ls and then cut um, wp.livubalan.com-8000 index.php, you will see that the file index.php contains the text hello from wp.livubalan.com on port 8000. Okay, now that I've created uh, the directory and the index.php and uh, the virtual host, host uh, conf file, it's okay. Let's uh, use the A2N site in order to enable the wp.livubalan.com on port 8000. Hit the enter key and as you can see here, all I have to do is to reload or restart the Apache web server in order to apply the changes. Now, if I hit the enter key, the Apache web server is restarting, but as you can see, I am getting an error from the Apache web server. The reason is that if you read the manual page of the Apache web server, you will see that overlapping uh, listen directory directives will result in a fatal error, which will uh, prevent the server for, from uh, starting up. And as you can see, the web server now is down. If I refresh the page here, you will see that I am unable to connect. Let's uh, make some debugging and let's understand what is the problem. If I type ls here and uh, if I edit the wp.livubalan.com-8000, you will see here that I am using the listen on uh, the port 8000. Also, if I open http.livubalan.com-8000.com, you will see that I am listening on the port uh, 8000 here also. And as I told you earlier, or as the Apache documentation uh, says, uh, the overlapping uh, of the listen uh, directive uh, will um, result in a fatal error. So, in order to avoid this problem, you can uh, merge the files into just one file and use the listen command just one time. But, if you do this, you will uh, end uh, in using a very big uh, configuration file and I don't want to do this. Instead, uh, what I will do next is to create a global configuration file using sudo vi and then inside of the sites uh, available I will create a global.conf file. Inside of this file, I will uh, use the listen um, directive and also instead of copy and paste or cut and paste the content of the uh, configuration files and put them here, I will use the include directive and uh, in order I will use the include directive and this includes other configuration files from within the server configuration files. So I've created the listen, uh, I've created the global.conf configuration file and here I am listening only once on the port uh, 8000 and I am uh, including the configuration files for http.livubalan.com, wp.livubalan.com and their correspondence for uh, the port 8000. So, 
I will write and quit this file and then a new uh, modification I have to do. Let's type ls minus al and then I will use sudo vi wp.lipubolan.com dash 8000.conf and from here I will comment the listen on port 8000. Uh, the same change I will do on http.livubalan.com-8000.conf and I will uh, comment the listen on port 8000 here. Now, if I uh, move to sites uh, enabled and use ls-l, you'll see that here I'm having uh, some... Um, symbolic links created to the configuration files in the sites available directory. I will remove all the um, all the symbolic links here and in order to do this I, I um, can use the rm command or the a to this site uh, apache command. So if I use sudo a to this site and then for example 000 default.conf and then http.livubalan.com uh, http.livubalan.com on port 8000 uh, wp.livubalan.com wp.livubalan.com on port 8000 and now if I use ls-l you'll see that I'm having also a last configuration file that I will remove using a to this site hit the enter key and now if I use ls you will see that I'm not I'm having no uh, site I am having no sites uh, enabled here but uh, I will use sudo a to n site in order to enable the global.conf configuration file that I've previously created now if I use ls minus l you will see that here I'm having the global.conf configuration enabled okay in order to apply the changes, all I have to do is to restart the Apache web server again. And now you will see that I'm having no errors. Uh, I'm having no errors here. And if I refresh http.livubolan.com, I'm getting this uh, message from http.livubolan.com. If I refresh uh, livubalan.com on port 8000 I'm getting the right message here if I'm refresh if I refresh the wp.livubalan.com I'm seeing the WordPress here and let's see what I'm seeing on wp.livubalan.com on port 8000 hello from wp.livubalan.com on port 8000 so I was able to um, create two different virtual hosts which listen on the same custom port 8000 using um, a global configuration file, the listen directive only once and um, the include directive and the include directive in order to include a configuration file. Remember that whenever you are using the listen command, you will have to use it only once because if you use it uh, multiple times, you will get in some troubles. Uh, also, another thing that I want you to show you, if I edit the global.conf configuration file, you will see here that I've commented this listen on port 80. Let's use the sudo command here. And if I uncomment the listen on port 80 and restart the Apache web server again, 
you will see that I'm getting an error here. So uh, a good idea in order to avoid these problems is to comment the listening on port 80, which uh, is uh, which Apache is listening on by default. Now, if I restart the web server again, everything it's okay. So this is how you s set up multiple virtual hosts listening on the same custom port in Apache. If you want to learn more about Apache, about Ubuntu server, about web technologies, you can uh, check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website, livyubalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.